how to save emails from gmail to your notion database automatically so in this video i'll teach you that whenever a new email is received into the gmail account how you can automatically add the very same email and its content to the notion software which is an amazing project management software so along with the email and its content you can even add the subject line the incoming email address and even the further details can be added to the notion software directly from the gmail application so if you also want to save all the incoming emails to the notion software come with me and i will show you the process step by step so this is the same gmail account whose incoming emails i would like to add to the notion software and here you can see i have already created a page and inside that page a table a database has also created where i am going to save all the emails all right and to do that i'll have to connect gmail and notion with the help of an automation and integration software pably connect and you can also reach here by typing pably.com/connect and i will also attach this link into my description box and if you are a new user of pably connect you will have to sign up for free i am already an existing user that is why i am clicking on sign in and then i'll be clicking on access now and let me tell you in the free account of pably connect you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation and that too every month okay after reaching out to the dashboard of pably connect you will have to click on this blue button create workflow and from From here exactly, we are going to start creating our automation, our workflow. So just provide a random name to your automation. So I am providing the name as. add incoming email messages of gmail to notion automatically okay click on create and you will find two boxes in front of you those are actually trigger and action okay trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example also that whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application well according to our use case when whenever a new email is arrived into the gmail application automatically add the very same email to the notion application so this is how we need to always select the applications in which we are setting up an automation and here we are setting up an automation in between gmail and notion application but instead of selecting gmail here i'll be selecting this email parser feature of pably connect and with the help of this email parser only we are going to connect the gmail and notion application okay so firstly you will have to copy this particular email address and go back to your gmail account click on settings click on see all settings and here exactly we are going to choose this forwarding and pop im aap section and here you will find an option of add a forwarding address so we already received this forwarding address which we have copied and we are going to paste the same email address and click on next and you will see it will ask you that are you forwarding email to this particular email address okay so you will have to click on proceed and you will see the confirmation code will be sent to this particular email address to verify the permission so when you will go back to pably connect you will see a response will be received here and you will have to directly go to this body text and under this body text you will actually find the confirmation code okay so firstly you will have to verify via the pably connect that yes you are actually going to receive the emails okay Okay. click on okay provide the confirmation code click on verify and this is how you can actually do the verification process and after that make sure you enable this forwarding a copy of incoming email to basically this particular option and finally click on save changes and you will see a notification that you are forwarding your email to this particular email address so now onwards what will happen whatever the email emails will arrive here the same emails will be received here in the pably connect also so read the instructions you need to send a forward email to the email address above and we will fetch all the details from your email so yes we are going to do the same okay so click on this recapture email response click on yes and here 
I will open an another Gmail account and from here exactly I'm going to send an email to the same Gmail account whose emails I would like to add to the notion okay so this is completely another Gmail account and here I'm going to send a just a testing email okay here you can see I have added the email ID of the same Gmail account in which I would like to receive the emails okay so demo at the rate pablitudes.com is the email ID and the subject line here is the issue with the photo filter hello sir i bought a water filter from your store last week and it was expected to deliver yesterday that is 7th november okay so this is just a testing email which i have created here click on send and it seems like you forgot to attach a file so yes i do not want to attach any file okay you can see the message has been sent go back to your gmail account and click on refresh and here you can see the same email has been arrived. Now finally I will actually check my Pabli Connect account and yes the same email address basically the details has been arrived here in the response. Let me even show you the details one by one. If you will check this body text you will actually find the option that the same email the same content has been arrived here. Hello sir I bought a water filter from your store last week and it was expected to deliver yesterday that is 7th November but somehow the delivery is not done yet so you can see the body text is arrived let me cross check where is the subject line of this email here you can see the subject line is also there issue with the water filter let me cross check and yes it is the same subject line and where is the name of the person so I'll have to search for the name also well how about I search it with the display and here you can see from display and the name of the person so this is how the first step of our automation of our integration is actually done which was connecting Gmail and Pabli connect and then fetching up the data from Gmail to the Pabli connect now finally we are going to send the very same data to the notion application so in the second application I'll be selecting the same click on action event click on create database item click on connect click on add new connection connect with notion now provide the access of your notion account well i am already logged into the notion in some different tab so instead of asking for the access it is directly asking me for the permissions so make sure you provide the full permission click on allow access and do not worry Pabli connect is 100% safe so the authorization is successful and your notion application has been connected immediately now you can see since we are connected whatever the databases are available into my notion account have started visible here okay so these are the same and here i'll be selecting this all incoming emails from gmail i'm going to select the same well it has got selected automatically and here you can see it is showing this tags name and content well i don't want these fields so i'll be changing this fields okay so i have one field as name now i want to receive the email okay so i'll have to search for the i'll have to write email and here in the type also i am going to search for the email okay so this is going to be the email field now I will write it as the subject line okay so I have added the subject as well and finally the body okay the email body also I would like to receive these four details from my gmail okay here the name will appear here the email will appear well where those two fields has gone so I'll have to add them once again okay subject line okay let me correct the spelling okay i have the subject line click on that and subject line is added now i want to add one more property again as the email body so i would like to receive these four things okay so i have added these things successfully you can see name email subject line and email body come back to Pabli connect and when you will refresh to fetch new items when you will click on this button you will see the same fields will arrive here will start it showing email subject line email body and name okay so finally i'm going to fill these fields one by one and from where exactly i'm going to fill this data 
ਜਾਏਗਾ ਵੈਲ ਦਾ ਡਾਟਾ ਵਿਚ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਜਸਟ ਰਿਸੀਵਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਸਟੈਪ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਮੈਪ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਕਾਪੀ ਦਿਸ ਪਾਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਈਮੇਲ ਡਾਟਾ ਐਂਡ ਪੇਸਟ ਇਟ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਰੀਡ ਦ ਇਨਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਔਰ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਕਲਿਕ ਔਨ ਦਿਸ ਫੀਲ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਟੈਕਸਟ ਟੂ ਮੈਪ ਡਾਟਾ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਦ ਇਨਸਰਟ ਡਾਟਾ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਸਟੈਪ ਸੋ ਯੈਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਇਨਸਰਟ ਦਾ ਡਾਟਾ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਸਟੈਪ ਸੋ ਹਾਊ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਆਈ ਸਰਚ ਫਾਰ ਦਾ ਈਮੇਲ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਈਮੇਲ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਵਾਇਅ ਵਿਚ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਨੋ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਈਮੇਲ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਹੂਸ ਈਮੇਲਸ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਰਿਸੀਵ ਹੇਅਰ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਐਡ ਦਾ ਈਮੇਲ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ who has sent me that email so i am going to map the same so i have mapped it okay coming down and now i am going to add the subject line so again search for the subject line here and where is the subject line here you can see header subject all right email body again search for the body text and here you can see hello sir i bought a water filter yes it is the same email content finally it is asking for for the name so you will have to search it for the with the display okay so you can see here is the name of the person who has sent me the email now if i will click on this button you will see the same data will be added to the notion software okay fingers crossed waiting for the response and here you can see the same data basically the name of the person the email address the subject line and even the email body has been added well i actually forgot to delete this steps well it is actually adding the data from the bottom to uh, first so i'll have to delete it okay let me delete all the remaining basically the blank fields okay and now onwards the data will be added automatically okay so this is how now onwards as soon as a new email will arrived here into this particular gmail account the same email data will be added to the notion software and this is how you can create a backup this is how you can actually manage your projects this is how you can keep a track on all the incoming emails well in this case i have taught you that how you can save each incoming email which is coming to your gmail account but let's say you are receiving different kinds of email to this particular gmail account and you just want to add only specific emails which are going to meet some kind of condition so how you are going to do that i'll teach you the same okay so before this notion step you will have to add one more action step and here with the help of filter which is an amazing feature of pabli connect you can actually set the conditions okay whatever the conditions you would like to send so let's say you want to add the email content of only one specific email address so you can actually define that particular condition okay so here exactly you can add the condition that whenever this particular email address basically the emails via which you are receiving is equal to this so let me add the same Okay so I have specified the email so now if the email received via the email address is actually equal to this and if you will click on save and send test request you will see this condition will be true well why this condition is false i think i have done some mistake okay yes i have actually made a mistake into this particular email address okay so make sure your values should be exact should be correct otherwise this will happen with you also now you can see the condition is true in that case what will happen if your condition is true this automation will proceed basically the next step of this automation will definitely execute and if that condition is false so let's say i am going to replace this particular email address with different one so how about i change a few values and then i am going to click on this button once again so you will see the condition will be false and in that case this automation will stop immediately and here i am adding the condition only on this email address but you can even add the and condition or or condition also on the different things let's say you want to set a condition on the basis of subject line at that if the subject line consist of these words so let's say i have selected here the subject line and here i have selected the filter type as contains okay so if the subject line contains the words like issue okay and if you will click on this plus icon you can add more conditions here so this is how you can add as many as conditions on the subject line on the content on the email address or on any other part okay 
and this is how you can actually filter out the incoming email and you can add the specific email addresses to the notion software okay so for now i am going to delete this particular step basically the filter step because i was just telling you that how filters can be added otherwise i have removed it so now onwards whenever a new email will arrive to this particular gmail account the same email data will be added to the notion software and it is just a one time process this automation setup is just a one time process once you have set up this automation sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end and you do not have to do anything manually in case you want to clone this whole workflow into your account i'll be adding this shareable link into my video description box from where you can clone the same workflow into your pabli connect account that too for free you just need to sign up into the pabli connect software and then click on this particular link and it will be cloned to your account so let me test this automation once again that whether it is working absolutely fine or not so how about i am sending one more email that this time issue with the mobile okay so let's say you are running an electronic shop and someone is sending you the query about the mobile issue about the water filter issue i am facing an issue with my mobile all right camera is not working so just assume that someone is sending this particular email to you on this particular email id okay click on send okay the message has been sent here waiting for that message to be arrived here all right let me first click on this refresh button you can see the message has been arrived now i am waiting for the same message to be arrived here and here you can see the same message issue with the mobile and hello i am facing an issue with my mobile camera is not working has been added immediately into the notion software so this is how this automation is going to work absolutely fine Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video